Welcome back to Trash Panda Sports. Today we're going to be doing some vintage football pack openings. In front of you we have three 1988 packs. Uh, I believe that's the Bo Jackson rookie year. Uh, we got two 1985 packs um, and then three 1980 packs. And to round it off, I believe we got a 78. Is that a 78 or a 77? 78 pack. Um, I believe that's Tony Dorsett's rookie year. So uh, looking for some uh, some vintage guys, some Hall of Fame guys, some rookies. So let's just get into it. All right. Let's start with these 88s. 1988 top football. And are you kidding me? First pack right on the bottom. Bo Jackson rookie cat. There it is. Crispy as can be, right out the pack. And it's great that it was on the back and not the front because the gum didn't get to it. All right, so the centering left to right's off just a little bit, and there's a little bit of a wax stain on it. So you're looking at best maybe an eight on this. So it's not really worth a lot of money, but hey. I didn't pay a lot for the packs either, so definitely got your money back with this card right here. So there's a Bo Jackson rookie card right off the bat. Didn't even get into the first pack yet. It was on the back. That's some craziness right there. All right. And these older packs, man, feel all these cards in here. There was, like, lots of cards in these packs. Fifteen cards. That's crazy. All right. Boom. Thousand-yard rusher Eric Dickerson, too. That's a decent card. Gerald Riggs. Ernest Bina. Mike Quick. Dwight Stone, Kelly Goodburn, Walter Abercrombie, John Spagnola, Andre Tippett All-Pro, Jesse Solomon, Lorenzo Hampton, Vi Sikahema, that might be a card too, Freddie Joe Nunn, Garen Varis, and a checklist card. All right, so uh, put these two up here. I don't know about those ones yet. Let's get this off to the side. All right, let's get into the second pack of 88, which we already started off on a good note, right? We already got a, a good omen going here. So, uh, I'm feel, oh, well, that's Marcus Allen. I saw another I saw another uh, Raiders running back. Thought we had two bows in a rows. Stump Mitchell, 1,000-yard rusher. Here's Marcus Allen, though. All right, we'll put that up there with Bo. What a great tandem that had to be, huh? Another Vysik Amma card. Morton Anderson, all pro. Stefan Page, Jim Breach, Roger Ruzik, Larry Kinnebrew, Chris Burkett, Carl Banks, all pro. Ricky Jackson, Jacob Green, Diane Marino on this team card. Gary Lee, super rookie. Don't even know who that guy is, but then here you go. Jerry Rice on the scoring leader, so that's a decent card, too. Anything with Jerry or Joe or any of those guys back then. Not a bad card. All right, one more of these 88s to get out of the way. Had some good luck with these 88s. I like it, right? Oh, we got Jimmy McMahon on the back there. Super Bowl shuffle. All right, what do we got here? We got another 1,000 yard. Every pack has one of these gloss cards in it. So Ernest Givens, 1,000 yard receiving. Alex Gordon, Eddie Murray, William the Refrigerator Perry. That's not a bad card either. Dave Butts, Jack Trudeau, Anthony Tony, Troy Stratford, rookie cat, Jim McMahon, look at that with the headband and all. Jeff Bryant, Kent, Kent Hill, Steve Grogan's old butt, Jim Lachey, Kevin Mack. Uh, here's your receiving leaders in AFC, it uh, looks like, and then Leonard Marshall. All right, so. Nothing crazy out of the rest of the packs, but, 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 we land a Bo Jackson right off the bat. So that's good. That's great stuff. I like to hear it. All right. We're going to go in chronological order here. So next is 85. So we got two 85s. All right. Here's what it looks like. 1985. A lot of. Like thousand dollar. I don't know why 85 was such a big year. Maybe because of the Super Bowl or whatever, but, um. Walter Payton cards. There's a few of them I know in this year that are worth a bunch of money. 
Um, not too many big name rookies or anything in this year, but if you land one of those guys, one of those Paytons or something, you're doing real well for yourself. Oh, and I remember why these have the black border, so it's really tough to pull a 10 on any of these cards because the border is black. So who do we got here? Marcus Allen? Oh, I was going to say that ain't Marcus Allen. That's Mike Quick and then Marcus Allen, so I'll throw that up there. Mikey Quick will throw off to the side. All right, so we got a Lions action card. James Craig busting through the defense. Uh, Cowboys, is that Dorsett then? Yeah, it is Dorsett. Dan Hampton, Warren Moon, Record Breaker Dan Marino. I think that one's worth something, actually. Jeff Rutledge. Uh, I can't even read that guy's last name. Darren Cherry, Exploiting the Arrow Cardinals card. Matt Shuey. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Tony Dorsett card. All righty. No discoloration around the borders either. That's a good card. Tommy Kramer, Greg Boyce, Doug uh, something, and the Lions. All right, so we got two Dorset cards, really, because we got the Cowboys team with Dorset running on the front. Uh, and then we landed also this Dan Marino record break at guy, which I think is, is worth something. Most touchdown passes. And this is his second year, obviously, because 84 was his rookie. So I like it. I think we're pulling some cards so far. Here we go. Another 85 tops pack. Uh, get this gum out of here. All right. Cards are flipped over. We have Greg Bell sticker and uh, Warren Moon sticker. All right. So we have Charles Bowser. Daryl Green, what is he? Oh, that's the second year, so not his rookie, though. Morton Anderson, Dave Craig, Jackie Slater. Mm -hmm. Anthony Munoz. Sylvester Stamps. Gary Finnick. Raiders diving for the goal line. That's obviously Marcus Allen. Daryl Taley. Oh, this might be his, uh, no, it can't be his rookie. All right, well, we'll check it out. I don't think it's his rookie, though. Lionel Manuel, Bobby Johnson, Carter Hartwig, 1984 AFC Championship game card, and uh, Dwayne Woodruff. So I'm not too sure about any of those ones. We'll end up looking at them later. You're really just looking for that big name to pop up. If the big name pops up, then you know you're solid in one of those years. So we'll just put these off to the side. Now we're on to the 1980 packs. All right. So in these 80 packs, um, this is another one where you're just kind of looking for the... I think there's a Phil Simms rookie and a couple other rookies, but no one of like real stature. But if you land one of the, uh, the big guys too, like you're looking for your Walter Paytons and guys like that. And it's in good shape. Then you got some money on your hands. So let's get this going. We got Ike Harris, Billy Joe Dupree, uh, the Browns team leaders. That doesn't include anybody really good. Rocky Blaya, Johnny Perkins, Chuck Ramsey, Richard Casta, Deron Talbot, Charlie Hanna, Chuck Muncie. Look at that dude. Charlie Young, and a way off center Jimmy Safalo. Wow, he's like. Got another card on there somewhere. So I don't think there was anybody crazy in that pack. Let's go with another one. 1980 Tops Football. Okay. We got a Lydell Mitchell. Lyle Blackwood. Oh, there we go. John Stallworth. Yeah, it's off center and stuff, so it's probably not worth much. But oh, here we go. Uh it's off center, but it's a 1979 team leaders card. Um, so Walter Payton's right on the front of that bad boy. So that would be worth something, but the centering is an issue on the front, not so much on the back. Centering looks decent on the back. Corners look all right. So that's it. That's a decent card. Wendell Tyler, Leroy Jones, Dan Neal, John Jefferson, Curtis Brown, Nat Moore, John McDaniel, and Vernon Herter. Don't know about you. 
Oh, you're weak, cool. All right. So we are moving on to our last 1980 Tops football cards pack before we get into that 78. All right. Come on, let's land a Peyton or something, right? Ken McAfee, Randy Logan. 79 receiving leaders with a minor shot. Oh, look at that. Steve Lodgent, AFC All Pro. Man, these cards, these older cards, the centering issues are ridiculous. That's why it's worth so much if you pull a 10. The back looks fine. That's what the rough part is. The front's just off. But there's a Stevie Largent. That's a good card. Richard Osborne, Raphael Stepien, Jimmy Robinson, Ike Harris, Randy Cross, Russ Washington, All Pro, Ken Stone, and Joe Danello. Um, so nothing crazy out of those packs, but uh, you know you got the Ahmad Rashad on the receiving leaders. Steve Largent card is good. Um, also the, uh, Walter Payton on the team lead is God too. All right. So let's get these other ones put off to the side. And we got our grand finale is a 1978 tops football card pack. Looking for a Tony Dorsett rookie or anyone else of, uh, of value. Oh man. See how this, these older packs. Stick. This wax is all over this card. Thank God it's nobody good. It's Mario Clark for the Buffalo Bills. Um, if it would have been like the Dorset or a Peyton or somebody like that, then you're disgusted at that point, you know? Look, I can't even get it off. Like, I don't want to damage any of the other cards. But it's really stuck to this Mario Clark card. There we go. Get all this gum out of my way. Now, oh, drop. drop the gum. I got it. All right. So here we go. 1978 Tops Football Cats. Mario Clark, Charlie Young, Tommy Hart, Dave Jennings, Dewey Selman, Ken Burrow, Mike Hogan, Pat Tilly, Marvin Powell, Joe DeLamalia rookie card. Looks in decent shape. It's not a 10. Uh, Bill Berge, Chuck Muncie, second year. Dan Ryzak, and then punting leaders, Ray Guy and Tom Blanchett. I mean, Guy's in the Hall of Fame, but... All right, so nothing crazy. Uh, Joe DeLamalia, who is a Hall of Famer. Um, that's his rookie card. So, nothing crazy, though. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. Something like that. Chuck Muncy, uh, we don't know what that's worth. But we pulled a bunch of decent stuff. We got the Bo Jackson rookie, a couple Tony Dorsett cards, that Marino record breaker, Steve Largent, Ahmad Rashad. So, I mean, we just bought some random packs, some vintage packs here, and we landed some decent cards. If I can chop them up and, and spread them around, I probably uh, get my money back in a little more. But uh, Trash Panda Sports, and we got a bunch more stuff coming your way. I actually bought a 1990 uh, Series 1 Marvel Comics card box. So we're going to be breaking that open. That's just for nostalgic purposes. It's not really worth a lot of money. Uh, it could be someday seen as a Series 1, but who knows? Uh, there's definitely some cool holograms and stuff in that. Also, uh, the search for Jeter rookies continues. I have another 1993 Classics Best Box coming, uh, which has a chance for a Jeter, rookie, uh, Jeter autograph rookie in there. Um, what else do I got? A bunch of score packs from 1993 and um, some front row 1992. So that's like pre Jeter rookie 1992 front row sports. They have like chrome and gold and all kinds of stuff. So we're going to be opening those coming up too. A lot of stuff arriving in the mail this week. So stay tuned uh, and uh, hit that subscribe button. Remember, like, comment, and share. Let me know what you thought of the video. If you liked any of the cards, we can work something out. Uh, we're going to start giving us away some stuff here once we get up to 100 subscribers. And then once again, if we hit 1,000 subscribers, I got a really cool uh, gift put away. It's numbered. It's autographed. It's crazy. Um, and I will be giving it to one of you. So thank you for your support. Continue to watch. Uh, I like the comments underneath. Let me know that you liked it. Let me know what you didn't. And uh, we're here for you. 
um, I just do this as a hobby, so it's nice to have other people, uh, you know, enjoy what I do as well. Trash Panda Sports, Trash Panda out.